Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I wanted to take the time to talk about will we see racial abilities change at all? Or are they going to lock them in for the same? Because when they launched Phase 3, they told everyone that there will be a weapon spec available for all classes once they hit 60. And that was met with some severe backlash. And I really haven't seen anything of them talking about it, going back on it, or fully embracing it yet. And it makes me worried, what are we going to see with that? So hopefully Blizzard heard our cries and, you know, reconsidered what they were doing with that. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So... At Phase 3 launch, they said a little bit in their video about their plans for Phase 4, such as reducing Molten Core to a 20-man, revamping old gear so it's on the sort of power creep that we've seen all the way up here, and taking the time to add in a special little quest that boosts everyone's weapon specialization of some kind. So essentially there will be some type of quest or unlock that every class in the game will be able to go and get a weapon spec of their choosing. So this is, normally it seems like a good idea, this sounds awesome, that's a great way to sort of balance out classic and you know, not only go after swords, maces, and axes depending on you being a human or orc, because all human warriors want swords and maces, and and all orc warriors want only axes, so it sort of limits your best in slot. And I sort of see the idea that they were coming for. However, the biggest problem with this is that Alliance humans have those as their two racials. They don't have an racial ability like orcs and trolls. Orcs get blood fury and axe specialization, and trolls get bow specialization and berserking two very very powerful racials when it comes to dpsing and parsing and that's what a lot of people care about here in the classic wow community it's sort of a way to measure how good you are as a player or how good your rate is as a whole and so there was some immense backlash about this from alliance players because they are so heavily affected every single player who was a human was like wow why am i here playing on a human on alliance when horde have shamans and at the time shamans were insane and they're still pretty up there compared to paladins and where paladins fall and just the utility that they bring shamans are like they're killing it with shaman uh, usage here in sod opposed to the lions so not only do horde finally have the better sort of hero class of classic if you will um they also have better racials because if you take give an orc sword spec or mace spec and the ability to switch it this isn't a permanent thing you can just have one so like you can trade it around as much as you want and it i believe they said it didn't stack so it's not like you could have plus 10 to swords instead of plus five you would just get plus five to swords and you would just be screwed and out of a racial so one of the biggest solutions to this problem would be would they allow other races to pick up other racials so if you are a human you get rid of your axe spec or sword spec or your um, mace spec and you go and pick up blood fury or berserking those are the two that everyone wants, obviously. I mean, sure, you can throw in War Stomp. Um, War Stomp would probably be pretty interesting in PvP if everyone could have it. Um, or Will of the Forsaken, also a really interesting one to put into all the other ones. But if I were them, I would just stick for Blood Fury and Berserking and maybe give Horde, like, uh, the Dwarf one to, you know, have stone form. And since they're already getting the specialization one, that will be interesting. But it's not really... There's already, like, a way to build your characters only using axes. So a lot of Horde players are accustomed to that, and they can keep going with that. But having the ability to use swords will be really cool as well. Um, just a little food for thought with that. And the only reason that this I, I think this could be possible is because in that same Phase 3 launch video, they also announced that they were doing something with priests. So if you don't know, priests have an additional ability that is specific to the priest class depending on their race. So like a troll priest gets shadow guard, um, a, an undead priest gets necrotic plague, 
and so a dwarf priest gets desperate prayer, which heals them for like 20% of their health. And they also get uh, Fear Ward. So Fear Ward is a very, very powerful spell. And as the expansions go, they um, normalize these priest spells to make it available to every class to be getting these. However, they do not... Um, like it's just not there in classic so people really want these spells so they're going to do something with the priest buffs they said and those prayers to give you the ability to then go trade them in or have a quest to unlock their uh priest racial abilities so they've already done a lot of work there's going to be a precedent for allowing people to get other races abilities and it just kind of actually makes sense you know if you look at real world or history or anything, um, cultures sort of learn from each other. So why shouldn't it be different in World of Warcraft, you know? It is Season of Discovery. It really can't hurt to try this. I don't, like, as a Horde player, I'm not going to be mad if I see a human using Blood Fury, you know? Like, I don't care that much like it's cool to see them do that the only complaint i could see is that it ruins the uniqueness of it but if we're already ruining the unique specialness of it in a lot of different other ways already it's season of discovery um i truly think that this is sort of a beta test for a classic plus and seeing how successful that would truly be and so why not give it a whirl why not test it it's a seasonal server at the, the end of the day it's not permanent it's not classic wow it's not going to um be here forever it's a cool fun time to experience and i think you know, after 20 years of fighting orcs and 20 years of fighting humans, I think you could learn how to, you know, have every man for themselves and how to, you know, go rah in a blood fury rage, you know? I don't see too much uh, problem with that in my opinion, but, you know, if you do disagree, let me know why you disagree with that, why you would have an issue with allowing other classes to, get, or other races to get those racial abilities. I do understand that it does make them special and why you would do this, but if you have to go through some epic quest line and be max level to sort of learn it, to switch it up, I think that's a cool sacrifice and it allows them to give you like a story as well. Um, I've also heard like a idea that a lot of the uh, streamers have uh, asked for is like a safe sort of neutral PvP area where people can just go there and duel like a dueling arena. What if that arena is where you learned other classes racials, you know, just sort of like a neutral place like we see with like Dalaran or Shatarath in uh tbc and wrath why not have that sort of dueling area place they actually wanted the uh building over in our at the highlands that we use for the rune um they wanted this place right over here to be that back in the day i've heard people talk about it because it's always had those buildings but they used it for a rune in phase two but there's just so many places you actually could just open up dalaran because it's just a giant uh bubble over it so that could work as well but just to, you know some something to throw out there an idea that we could see for learning new classes racial abilities but anyway guys that's it for this video i truly hope you enjoyed it and until next time i'll see you later hope you have a great day bye, -bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.